I was good enough to fool some people, but I wasn't satisfied. That really captured a, a really crucial moment in my growth and progression as a musician and a songwriter and a guitar player. The idea that you hit that point, you're good enough, you could stop. You've reached a point where people give you just enough feedback that's positive. You you could stay there, that's comfortable. So I kind of want to dig deeper into that idea that maybe push your limits, maybe push beyond. It, it, it's not always about like, oh, I got to impress people. My music has to be for somebody else. Well, okay, if that's true, wouldn't you want to give them the best music possible? Wouldn't you want to give them something maybe they've never heard before or connect with them in a way that they've been looking for for, but haven't been able to find with other music out there. The desire to play guitar was kind of a way of finding my own identity or at least defining my identity. I'm a guitar player. I'm a musician, you know, I want to make music. I wanted to be known and seen and heard. I think maybe there was a lack of that or perceived lack of that. Maybe I was like seeking approval from friends, other musicians that I admired. Being able to pick up a guitar after somebody who was really good in my school at a party and play and do a song and have them be like, yeah, you get the the endorphins of, of like an acceptance, a validation, and it's a good feeling. I was nerdy and a lot was expected of me in school with my parents and my teachers and everything. And I think I just kind of wanted to create something that was all mine. It was something that I wanted and not anybody else. It wasn't, you need to do this. You need to get really good grades in this. You need to go into school for this. And this is what's expected of you. You're the smart kid. You should know better. You you shouldn't be hanging with these people. You need to go and do this. And this was a way of something that I picked up. I chose it. I felt passionate about it. And it was something that could be entirely me. Building something from zero and being able to step into that and not have to worry about, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> cat hair attack. It was not having to worry about all of these other expectations that were placed on me and all of these destinations that I was supposed to go to. I would go somewhere that I wanted to go. I eventually settled on the idea of going to music school. Spent so much time leaving class to go play guitar anyway. Had this moment where I decided that, you know what, I'm going to give myself to my music, give myself to my guitar. I'm going to work on my songwriting and let this consume me. I had nothing to do. I had nothing. I had nowhere to go. So making music became something that I could finally truly build for myself. This is something that I really want to do and I can kind of aspire to be. Now it was everything I thought I was going to have to do is gone. So music was there and music was something that I can literally build whatever I want. So let's take this time and just do it. The more that I wrote, the more that I got better at it and the more I was able to experiment with ideas, take concepts and take feelings and turn it upside down or try and combine things. It was just like a super important time of just doing it. I don't know. I felt like not doing it a lot of time. You got to fight past that. Finding motivation to do it is bullshit. Some days you are not going to feel like picking up your instrument. Do it anyway. You have to. You're not always going to be inspired. You can't always wait around to have a magic fairy show up and sprinkle some inspiration on you and then you suddenly write a masterpiece. That's bullshit. You have to keep going. The more you write, the better you will get. The more you practice, the more adept you will be on your instrument, the more it will be able to speak for you. It made me far more competent and confident as a player, as a musician. By making creativity a habit, it strengthens the flow. If you're doing it every day, some days it's not going to be good. Some days it's going to be really good. But there's a good chance that you were feeling really good on the day it wasn't that great. And you were feeling really crappy on the day it ended up being good. You don't know what the results are going to be. You just have to get the results. That's the 
biggest thing. Make creativity a habit to strengthen the flow. It made me a far more uh, desirable musician to play with. By the time I finally got to music school, like I was still really rough around the edges, big time. Well, by more refined standards. <laughs> by the time I got to music school, people wanted to play with me. I was somebody that was coming in and writing music and had a bunch of music that I could write. And I was really good at coming up with stuff on the spot. And it wasn't just scales, scales, scales. It was actually like melody, harmony, chords, movement. People used to say that playing with me was like playing with a drummer. Listen back to myself and realize that my time was, sometimes it was terrible. So I really, really tried to work on that and be more solid and more conscious of the flow and the groove and, and staying on top of it. Trying to focus on building more solid time, it really made a difference. Being able to get into that pocket and really groove, your drummer will thank you, <laughs> like big time. Had a lot of really good experiences of just doing duo, just guitar and drums. It was so much fun going back and forth. It was people considering the whole and not just what their instrument can do. Like I didn't want to have to work at a dollar store. I didn't want to have to be moved back home when I'm supposed to be in school. And I didn't want to have to work for minimum wage and, and be angsty in my mom's basement. But it was what I chose to do outside of that. Like here's all these things. This is what is happening. There's none of that stuff I could control. So that's, okay, we put that aside. What can I control? Well, I want to build something for myself with music. Hey, so let's practice every day. Let's write, let's jam, let's record. Let's, let's take this as seriously as if it was a job and I was getting paid for it, except it was bigger than that. It wasn't just a paycheck. It was, I need to do this. I wanted to build something for myself with music, but I ended up building myself through music. I became something else. I became a more well-rounded, thoughtful, creative person by making myself part of the music. I built myself through this experience. Going to school, all these people that I met, all this music that I made, all these opportunities that I got was because I took the music and made it a part of me and then made myself a part of the music. Like it was intertwined and it just, it changed everything. Even now, I'm not satisfied with where I am as a musician. But the thing is, you never should be. You always need to keep pushing. If you feel like you're getting comfortable with where you are, then you're not challenging yourself enough. And how many times before you may have had that point where you're like, I was good enough, but I wasn't satisfied. Should you have stopped there? What about all that stuff that you learned? What about all these things that changed? What about all this music that you were able to write that you never thought you'd be able to make anything like that before okay so you always need to keep pushing you always need to progress learning new stuff trying to wrestle with a new concept take an idea and write a song around it and try and make it work for you that's that's the biggest chunk of advice you should try and take away from this so that's why i wanted to kind of talk about that story today mm -hmm.